Hi guys, one of the ladies here, back again for another video on the channel. I'm back again for another transfer related video. In this one today then, I'll be talking about Swan City winger Jordan Garrick leaving the club to join League One side Lincoln City on loan for the remainder of the season. Now, it's my third Lincoln City related video this year. Of course, Liam Cullen, Morgan Whitaker both joined Lincoln City on loan in January and they wanted another Swan City player. This time, it was former Plymouth Argyle winger Jordan Garrick. So yeah, we've done a lot of business with Lincoln City in terms of Cullen and Whitaker last year. Cullen didn't really have a great season, only one goal uh, for the Imps, Liam Cullen. But Morgan Whitaker had a pretty successful spell at Lincoln. I believe he scored five goals in 20 games, so one every four games, but also notched up two red cards. But Jordan Garrick at Plymouth Argyle last season had a lot, a lot of game time, which is very, very good. He's 24 now, Jordan Garrick, so, you know, he needs regular game time and he's not going to get that at Swansea City. Uh, he played 50 games all competitions last year for Plymouth Argyle, including the league, uh, part of the John's Trophy, Carabao Cup, FA Cup, things like that. Notched up seven goals on eight to six in all competition which is a really good return his contract with Swansea City runs out next summer so you know you probably do assume you know he's going to the contract's going to get run down he's going to leave on a free transfer next season we do have an option to extend his contract so who knows if he does really well with Lincoln City and you know we extend his contract by a year we might sell him for a fee but yeah it looks like you know he'll go on loan to Lincoln and then next season be a free agent and join whatever club he feels is best suited for him similar with Carl Joseph in terms of it, where he can play he played right wing back for Plymouth at times last season he can also play in the right wing which is his normal role and can occupy it as a striker in a front who I believe he played at striker against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge as well. But Plymouth nearly pulled off an absolute miracle. Uh, for Swan City then, he's only made 19 first-team appearances, only scoring three goals. So not a great return in terms of Jordan Garrett getting many first-team opportunities. He's been at Swan City for a long, long time. He uh, was part of that under-23 squad, which had some really good quality players in it with like Ollie McBurney, Daniel James, George Byers. Uh, Joe Rodon, Connor Roberts. So he's part of that, you know, first team environment. But unlike some of the other players I've mentioned, he's not really been able to kick on and, you know, just get a, an upgrade on Swansea City, really, or even get in Swansea City's first team. In terms of the under 23s and Academy, then he's made 60 appearances for the Academy slash under 23s, scoring nine goals. So yeah, not a bad return for Joan Garrick, but like under Steve Cooper. I remember him coming off the bench now and again, you know, there's a spell where he came off the bench in like three consecutive games and scored in every single one. So yeah, it's a bit, a bit of a shame where you see Garrick's career just going a bit of a downhill spiral already because there's a player in there, but it's just the fact that he's not that consistent. But like I said, for Plymouth Argyle last season, if you get him 50 games, you've got to be a decent level, a League One player. Like I said, he was causing a few problems and, you know, that player squad's got a lot of quality in there, so he did well to get in there. But yeah, for some City fans, you know, we're going to be looking out for League One. Now, Cal Joseph uh, gone to Oxford United. Garrick's obviously gone to Plymouth Argyle. We've got Morgan Whitaker. Um, sorry, who's gone to play with Argyle and John Garrick to Lincoln City. So, yeah, we're moving around. Of course, there's some other players who could potentially go on loan as well. Liam Cullen, of course, you Lincoln Vandal done very well. He could go on loan. Brandon Cooper is another very good player who is definitely a League One level player as a stance. He'll probably be going on loan. Who knows, Ollie Cooper or something like that as well. So, yeah, um, for Swan City fans, let me know what you think of Swan City to say to loan or John Garrick for Lincoln and probably, you know, be a free agent next season. It's a shame that we haven't got a fee for him. Look, with one year left, you need to move players on and try to get a slight fee for him but you know I'm sure uh, Lincoln paying a slight fee of his wages so we are saving money technically but really we need a permanent move for Garrick 24 and we've loaned him it's not a great deal for us but for Lincoln it's a really really good deal again an established League One player who did very well with Plymouth Argyle last year just nearly missed out in the playoffs and I hope Lincoln City have a lot of a better season than they did last season because last season was pretty poor under Mike Labelton of course got a new manager now new tactics but yeah good to see us loaning someone to Lincoln again got a really good connection so if Lincoln have you know, a breakup player maybe they can give them to us instead but you know who knows but Lincoln fans let me know what you think of signing Jordan Garrick Swan City fans let me know what you think of Jordan Garrick leaving on loan to Lincoln City and probably not playing Swan City shit again. Bit of a shame how it's ended up for Garrick, but best luck, John Garrick. Best luck, Lincoln City for the rest of the season. And the latest news is that John Garrick has left Swan City to join Lincoln City on loan for the remainder of the season. I need a